In this episode of Final Cut Friday, I show you how to use Core Melts Paint X to make simple fixes to your videos. Check it out. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Core Melts Paint X to fix issues in a video. So I have a clip here of my iPhone. I'm doing a basic push in and push out of this iPhone. You see there when I zoom in, you see some dust on the screen. And that is what we are seeking to fix. Now with the traditional image editor, with the static image, this would be simple to fix because it's just a single frame, a static image. So there's not multiple frames you have to deal with. So we're just gonna open up Affinity Photo. I have the repair tool open and basically I can just go through and repair this image just like that and most of the dust is gone. Uh, so that is super easy to do with a static image in something like Affinity Photo or Photoshop or whatever your favorite image editor is. But when it comes to moving pictures, it's a little bit more difficult. That's because when the image moves, the size and the location of what you're trying to fix changes. So here in this example, the dust is moving to different locations on the X and Y axis, and the dust gets larger or smaller depending on how I push in or push out with my slider. So basically that means we have to apply changes to every single frame. And that's where Core Melt's Paint X comes into play. So you just drag it from the effects panel over to the clip and click open editor in the inspector. And there we go. This is the Paint X interface. You see some traditional paint tools. You have your selection tool, your hand tool, blur tool. You have a repair tool, a paint tool, an eraser. So pretty much everything you would expect from a typical image editor. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see the dust on the display of this iPhone 5S. We use the hand tool to move up here. And now let's go back to the repair tool and we'll head over to the inspector to change the parameters. We'll adjust the size, there we go. Let's go down a little bit more, make it a little bit smaller. And let's see if that fits over that dust. Yes, it will. But before we make any changes, let's go back to the first frame of the clip. All right, and now we can click and remove that dust using the repair tool. So just simply click like that you'll see a little bounding box around it. You see it creates a new layer. And as you can see, you have a stroke under the layer for the healing brush. So now that we have our fix in place, we need to track the changes throughout the duration of the clip. And you just click the track forward button to do that. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead and zoom back out so we can see, we'll zoom to fit. Okay, so now we can track forward. And then you'll see the playhead move, just like that. Now this will take a while. I'm gonna speed it up here so we can get through this. It will take a little while depending on the length of the clip, depending on how many frames are in the clip, etc. All right, so now the tracking is complete for that first fix. And if we just move the playhead, you can see where it has removed the dust, just like that. Now you can add multiple strokes under a single layer, but I recommend adding separate layers because they will track independently. So I'm gonna zoom back in, use the hand tool to scroll up a little bit, switch back to our tool, and we'll remove this little speck of dust. Just like that. All right, then the same thing, we're gonna zoom back out and we're gonna track this and watch it track from the beginning to the end of the clip. And I've sped this up obviously, see it doing its thing. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now you just click Save Changes, and now you'll see an unrendered timeline denoted by those dots. So you're gonna wait until the timeline renders before playback. I've sped this up again. All right, and once the timeline is fully rendered, you can play back, and you'll see smooth playback. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There you go. So I'm pushing in and pushing out on the iPhone SE, and you can see that dust at least the most prominent particles are no longer being shown. Okay, so now let's zoom in a little bit on the clip and we're gonna show the difference between having the Paint X effect enabled and disabled. So right now it's enabled and now it's disabled and you can see that dust reappear. Let's go ahead and just play back and now let's toggle between Paint X. So it's off, now it's back on, off, etc. 
Okay, so that has been a very high level overview of Paint X. Obviously, this tool 